Yeah. Yeah. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. People wanna talk that talk in reality. You have not seen me in action. You think the come up comes overnight. You ain't behind the scenes. Trust me, these things don't just happen. No shade to Gerald, but G's don't come easy when you try to eat up producing and rapping. I read that contract you sent me to sign, but excuse me, I can't help myself. I'm just laughing. Hey, you try to cut out a piece of my pie, and I asked you politely, what's it that you offer me? Yeah. All right, let's talk about some attacks from the back here. Always starting with a seatbelt, and so. I always look for the, the cross collar choke first. I'll open the collar, push it forward so my hand can get to the highest point. Then I'll take the slack out. Just grabbing the collar, kind of rolling that collar in my fingers, not grabbing anything extra. Again, really important to get good at pushing the collar forward as my hand goes up, and then taking the slack out. I don't want to take the slack out when my hand only goes here. If I push it up, my hand can get to a higher spot. Then I take the slack out. Then I'm looking to go cross collar, pulling down and across. Cross collar choke from the back. Super simple, super effective. Again, starting with that seatbelt, I open that space so my can get to a higher point, take the slack out, cinch it up nicely, pulling this one down, circling this one. I don't just circle, but I also pull my wrist towards my shoulder here so it's a little bit of a crush right there. Second option from here, pushing the collar forward again, getting the high end to the highest point, taking the slack out. If I can't reach the collar, I just prefer this move. I'm gonna take the arm out to the side, elevate, and I'm slicing here. This hand's like a knife. As I'm circling here, I'm pushing the head forward. A little kata hajime, right there. Sorry, <coughs> sorry about that. Again, seatbelt, open, hand to the highest spot, taking the slack out. This is something good to practice, just getting really good at this. Just the collar. Looking cross collar, maybe I can't reach it. I come out, elevate like a half Nelson, and I make like a knife here. So my hand circles around the neck. I circle and tighten here, and then I straighten my arms. Boom. One more time. Another option for a nice collar choke from the back is the bow and arrow. Pushing the collar, taking the slack. Maybe I can't reach. Maybe I'm here and he's strong and I can't elevate. My head's on this side, my leg goes out. Other leg across. I'm gonna loosen up here so I don't hurt him as I talk you through it. I'm gonna dive for his knee to my side here. You can hook at the knee. Sometimes you can straighten all the way to the ankle here. I'm gonna stay at the knee here so I don't hurt him too much. As I'm cinching this, a lot of times he'll use his right hand to pull on my, or his left hand or right hand, either one to pull on my sleeve here to try to loosen. When that happens, my leg comes out. I look to kick the wrist off and then lock my feet. Bow and arrow's nice here. If he scoots down to defend it, I unloop the head, catching the arm, and I'll transition to the arm lock. So again, here, open, feed. Maybe I can't reach these. Leg out, leg across. I'm diving for the leg to my side. So he's not laying on my leg. I don't want him to lay on my leg down here where I can't get my leg out. I want this leg to come out so I can get rid of that arm. Again, if he's defending, I try to kick it. If I can't kick it, I'll just go over it. Bow and arrow. If he slides down and pulls this elbow off the top, I look to catch the arm. Climb, step over. You can keep the leg. Or just finish here. Okay, so we're here again. And sometimes I'm looking to attack this collar and a guy pulls the collar down towards his chest. If he ever opens it up, then I just cinch it higher. But some guys will pull it down here. When that happens, I'll pop my thumb out. You can catch the shoulder and finish here. Sometimes you can grab your own gi and I'll get the choke right here. So sometimes that happens. Sometimes I'm just looking for a short choke. I can go to the shoulder if I have my gi on. Here again, I'm pulling my elbow and kind of crushing. So, a short arm choke. 
I'm gonna thread this knuckle down the jawline just till my hand comes through. Second hand's underneath, three finger grip, shoulder, and my head pushes head forward as I pull right here. Really painful. And sometimes you can go from here and then I can thread right to a basic rear naked choke and squeeze. Again, we're here. Starting with a short arm. Once the hand comes through, going behind, making my lock. Shoulder and head push his head forward as I squeeze here. And then from here, I can always transition right to my rear naked chip. <coughs> Again, if we're here hand fighting, I can always come underneath, put it behind the back. As I put my leg over, I can hand fight here. I can go short arm, collar, lock the short arm or rear naked. Squeeze.